Hi everyone. In this video, we will understand how to verify superposition theorem practically. This is the circuit which we are using to verify the superposition theorem. And this circuit contains two voltage sources. One is 10 volts and another one is 5 volts. According to superposition theorem statement, the response in any branch when all the sources are active is equal to algebraic sum of response through the same branch when each source is acted at a time. So, first we will find the current through 470 ohms when both the sources are active means 10 volts and 5 volts. After that, we will activate each source at a time. So, here we are activating only 10 volt source. In order to inactivate the 5 volt voltage source, we need to replace it with a short circuit and find the current through 470 ohms. After this, we will activate 5 volt source now and the 10 volts is replaced with a short circuit. As we know that for ideal voltage sources, the internal resistance is 0. We are replacing the voltage sources with the short circuit. If there are any current sources available in the circuit, these current sources are replaced by open circuit because the internal resistance of ideal current source is infinite. Now, in the first step, we will find the current through 470 when both 10 volts and 5 volt sources are active. In the second step, we will find the current through same 470 ohms when 10 volts is active. And in the third step, we will find the current through 470 when 5 volt source is active. For the verification of uh, superposition theorem, the current through 470 which is obtained in the first step uh, must be equal to summation of uh, the currents through the same 470 ohms which are obtained in the second step and third step. First we need to set the voltages of uh, 5 volts and uh, 10 volts from the regulated power supplies of uh, trainer kit. So here we can observe that I am setting a voltage of uh, 5 volts at the right hand side of uh, trainer kit and uh, after setting 5 volts I am connecting the positive terminal of uh, 5 volt source to the resistor and uh, the negative terminal of uh, 5 volt source to the ground terminal. This is about one source and in the next source we need to ensure that uh, there is a voltage of uh, 10 volts and uh, after ensuring that there is a voltage of 10 volts it is also connected to the circuit according to the circuit diagram. Now we need to evaluate, uh, we need to find the current through 470 ohms. So we are breaking the circuit of uh, 470 and uh, keeping the multimeter in uh, ammeter mode. After doing this, we need to connect the multimeter terminals in series to the resistor and we got the current as 9.83 milliamperes. This is the current when both the sources are uh, active. The second step is to remove the 5 volt source. So I am removing the 5 volt source from the circuit and uh, replacing it with a short circuit. So I am replacing the 5 volt source with a small wire. And in order to find the current through 470, I need to uh, disconnect it from the circuit uh, and connect the ammeter in series to the 470 ohms like this. If you see the reading of the multimeter, we got 1.68 milliamperes. And in the third step, again, we are activating a 5 volt source. So I am connecting 5 volt source to the circuit. Now we need to inactivate the 10 volts. In order to inactivate the 10 volts, it is replaced with a short circuit. So I am connecting the terminals with a small wire. You can observe here. I am connecting the terminals uh, across which the voltage source is connected with a small wire. Hence, I am replacing it with a short circuit. Again, I am finding the current through 470 ohm. If you observe the reading of the multimeter, we got it as 8.14 milliampere. So, the current obtained in the first step is equal to summation of the currents obtained in the second step and the third step. Now, we can say that the superposition theorem is verified.